y'all. Happy Sunday. So this is gonna, sorry, I don't wanna show all my business. So this is gonna start a new vlog. I might cook me a regular breakfast because I gotta clean my stuff. Oh shoot, my bad y'all, my, my bad. Okay, so let me chit chat with y'all real quick. Oh, what is wrong with you? Hold on y'all, wait a minute, okay. Let me chit chat with y'all real quick. So let me tell y'all about my morning this far. Granted, it's 12.02. So y'all remember I told y'all that FedEx said that they wanted their bed back, their bed frame back because they mailed me two because they found out that they lost in transit. So they mailed me two. So they told me to mail it back so they wouldn't charge my car. Send me the label, put the label on the bed and everything, you guys. I legit, like I have communication. I'm going to see if I can go back and find out what no because those emails got my address on. Okay, but anywho. I ain't gonna do all that. Okay, so I legit have communication where I was constantly reaching out to a supervisor. I know called FedEx numerous of times. I know try to get es issue escalated. I even tried to get issue escalated when they came and mailed out my, cause I finally got my box from Spectrum. When they mailed out my box from Spectrum, I even tried to get it escalated then to like, hey, I have this package that Walmart said they're gonna charge my car for if y'all don't get it back. Okay, cool. FedEx takes their precious time. It takes FedEx three weeks to come get that package. FedEx finally come get the package, y'all. While I look at my car this morning, I was charged for that bed. So I called Walmart and I'm like, hey, um, I was charged for a bed that FedEx came to pick up. And I told the guy, I was like, I don't know if this falls on Walmart side or FedEx side, more so FedEx side. I said, I have, a, I have been in, three managers has called me from, three, from FedEx. They claim they was the managers, but three managers has called me from FedEx, you guys. Three managers. So, anyway, so I'm telling like I have talked to many managers, many supervisors to come get this dag on bed. They finally come get it. That was like a week ago. They y'all seen because I vlogged it. I said they finally came and got this bed a week ago. I said, but then I wake up this morning, my card has been charged. So the guy he was like, Well, do you happen to have the tracking number? He's real nice. He said, Do you happen to have the tracking number? I said, Yeah, I got that. Hold on one second. Put the tracking up, give him the tracking number. He was like, Oh yeah, he's like, Well, I see what was scanning. And I was like, Yeah, I said, and the delay and the inconvenience, that ain't on me. I said, that's not on me because right now I can, if you give me an email address, I can email you every communication I've had with the FedEx employee where they email me and tell me that it's been escalated and that someone's going to come out to um, get my package from me. Like it has been escalated so many times. I was like, I have emails of this. So the guy, he was like, oh no, he was like, I believe you. And at that, he was like, and honestly, only thing they care, Walmart care about is that they have the package back. I said, okay. I said, well, my card has been charged. So he was like, he verified the amount. And he was like, okay. He's like, yeah, I do see where your card has been charged. He's like, hold on one second. Let me get my supervisor to help me like reimburse your money. Stay on hold, you guys. About five, 10 minutes. You know, I called my dad back because my dad called in the process. Stay on hold about five to, five to 10 minutes, y'all. Come at the guys like he was like, well, I can't reverse it on my. He was like, for some reason, it's not letting me and my supervisor reverse. He was like, so we're gonna transfer it to the financial department. He was like, they're gonna reimburse. I said, okay. I said, so what other information do you need from me? Because whatever information you need from me, I have it. I said because I don't know. I said I don't know if you can see on your side, but I set up that same day that I got that track information. I set up an appointment for FedEx to come pick up the package because that's the only way they'll come pick it up. It's if you set up an appointment, y'all have set up numerous appointments for them to come pick up that package. But anywho, that's besides the point. The day that I received the label. Was the same exact day that I set up for them to come pick up the package. This was come get that following day. Never came. So he's like, no, he's like, well, I can already see where you originally set up the appointment, where you did all the labeling. Yes, sir. So he was like, um, he's like, no, we don't need nothing else from you. We was gonna transfer it to this financial department. They're gonna email you, and I'm also gonna send you a confirmation just so you know you're gonna get your money back. And I was like, okay, all right. And I was like, well, when should I hear from them? He was like, you should hear from them within the next 24 hours. If I don't hear from them, I'm calling them back because this is ridiculous. This ain't even on me, you guys. This is legit on FedEx. And I am, I'm confused. I, like, I'm so confused. And then I told y'all I still got a mattress over here because FedEx going to tell me, oh, we can't use that label to, um, we can't use that label to return the mattress. Okay. I know I bet I get charged for that mattress. I know that much. Because when I try to give y'all this stuff to return back, y'all not returning. And it takes y'all 10 years just to come to my house to pick up a pack. Y'all, who is Jesus? I ain't gonna get my blood pressure raised, y'all. Cause it, see, Brittany, bring it down. I ain't get my blood pressure raised, y'all. But it pissed me off this morning, though. It did piss me off. But I ain't gonna let it ruin my day. But it pissed me off because I'm like, I have what above and beyond. I have tried to do FedEx job by getting in the bring room out here to come get this box, and they don't come get it, and then my car still get charged. <laughs> who lord, y'all? Who lord? But anywho, I'm a cook. Me and Dante, some pancakes, because Dante's still here with me. Um, Brandy hasn't got home yet. I'm going to cook some pancakes. 
I don't want no sausage. I'm going to just cook down to some sausage. And we're going to have some eggs. I'm in the process of cleaning up my air fryer now. So I can get started on cooking this breakfast. Let me cook breakfast, you guys. I'll just come back and show y'all what I whipped up. Y'all yeah, know my simple breakfast. I'll come back and show y'all what I whipped up. I just had to tell y'all about that because y'all don't people tripping. Who Lord, they tripping y'all. My money should be back in my account by this afternoon. Well, no, because I don't know how long the processing takes. So I'm going to say my money should be back in my account by the next 72 hours because I don't even know how long. Yeah, ain't no telling y'all. Jesus, help me, Lord. Ain't no telling y'all. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys Sunday is starting off way better than mine. So I hope you guys are having a very happy Sunday. A happy, happy Sunday. Very happy. So we got our, uh, well, not we. Dante hooked up our internet box. So we get to go there. Yeah, my course is kind of all over the place. So now I just got to drop off the old box to Spectrum. I'll do that this week. I mean, I'll do that um, probably Monday. And here's my breakfast. I burnt my pancakes a little bit. <laughs> By um, trying to help Dante figure out that box. So I burnt them just a little bit, but I'm still going to eat them. Pancakes and eggs. So I'm about to enjoy this breakfast. Now it is 12.57. Because I was, I spent so much time on the phone at Walmart. But anyhow, and man, I was looking at this box. But I'm about to go ahead and eat my breakfast. So you guys, my plans for today, honestly, was the vlog. Like, legit, my plans was the vlog. Let me tell you this one. Legit, my plans was the vlog. Y'all, it is 9.49. <laughs> That's my vlog was last time y'all seen it. Dante got sick. He been throwing up all afternoon, all on my floor, all on his bed. Give him a trash can, you guys. The boy ain't even pick up trash can. He trash can might as well have been invisible because that throw up went every place else. Brandy got home from her dad, looked like she went through a hurricane. Had to redo her hair. Come on, baby, you can come through. They can't see you. We just not doing bath time, y'all. And it is 9:50. Go ahead and get dressed for bed. I'm coming around, okay? But yeah, y'all know it takes a minute to do brandy hair anyway. Say hey, mama. Hey. Y'all know it takes a minute to do brandy hair. I don't know what made Dante sick. I don't, I don't know. But I know everything he ate today, the chicken, because I cooked chicken, peas, rice. Well, I didn't cook chicken. I picked them chicken. Peas and rice. And I also had mashed potatoes. I didn't ask for mashed potatoes, but they gave me mashed potatoes anyway. So they ate that. And I don't know if, well, it didn't do me and brandy bad. So I don't know if he maybe have ate too much today or just too much snacking. Throughout the weekend. Yo, who, baby? Your lamp? Okay, I will. Go ahead and get dressed. I'm coming running. If he had too much food or what, you guys. But he vomited all of that up. Every single thing that he ate. Everything came up, y'all. You know how hard it is to clean up vomit with actual chunks of meat in it? Disgust. Y'all, ooh, Lord. <laughs> you, you, listen. Listen, let me tell you. You ever had a moment as a parent, I ain't even going to say as a mom, you ever have a moment as a parent where you just want to stop being, like you don't want to stop being a parent, but you want to break down and cry, like you just want to collapse and cry your eyes out, like that's legit how I felt, because while he was doing all the vomiting and all that or whatever, and saying he didn't feel good, and the whining, and I gave him some, because his hair was bothering him, so I gave him some for his head, and he steady whining, and he wanted me to sit right in and console him. So I'm trying to sit right in and console him at the same time I'm doing Brandy here. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I just want to have a whole breakdown and just cry and ask my mama to come up here and hold me. Listen. Listen, y'all. Got that throw up. Got it cleaned up. The big part. Got it cleaned up. Got his mattress clean. Go back in the room. Try to finish Brandy here because I did Brandy here in her room. Try to finish her hair. Here he go again. In the bed again. I'm like, God, I, I need you, Lord. I'm about to break down. I'm about to start crying. We all going to be in this house crying because. So when I have moments like that, you guys, I take a step back. So I took a step back. I went in my room. I sat down. I was like, Brittany, you got this. You got this, sis. You got this. Only the strong survive, sis. You got this. Like you, you, you got this, Britt. Got up, we run and clean it up again. Carol had put all his covers and stuff in the washing machine. I don't know where the sheet is at on his bed because I couldn't find a sheet. Wash his covers now. Finally finished Brandy hair. In the time he finished Brandy hair, he vomited a couple of times, but this time I was like, Dante. Like, I need you at the, the head of the bed, right here, like the end of the bed. So, when you vomit, you can vomit in the trash can. So, the other couple times, he didn't trash can. 
finally finished Brandy here. At that time, it was like 9 30. I'm about to wash dishes. Haven't washed dishes. Pot's still on the stove. <laughs> oh, Lord, y'all. These are the moments. These are the moments, y'all. These are the moments that make us parents strong. I'm telling y'all. Because when I say I could have broke down and cried, I could have broke down and cried. I'm telling you. Okay, so anywho. Pulling big girl draws on. All right, so it's 9.54. I'm going to go ahead and wash these dishes. I'm going to take me a shower because I just feel nasty and icky. So I'm going to take me a shower. Um, so the ladies that I did a group night, um, girls night with last night um, in our group chat, the lady, the, uh, well, yeah, I guess you say the lady, the girl who hosts the, um, she's not super old, she's younger than me, so I'm going to say the lady. The lady who hosts the girls night, and the group said, she's like, y'all send me y'all pictures and videos that y'all have or whatever. So we were all sending our pictures and our videos. It's some of those videos, you guys, I wish I would have not edited the vlog from, from yesterday. I wish I not would have not edited the vlog and included those pictures inside my vlogs. Y'all would have been bugging. But if you guys did watch the girls night video or whatever, then y'all would know, like, we had a good time. Um, I feel like we y'all would be able to tell it by the little small clips I got in there. But... A lot of the ladies, they, like, use profanity, which y'all have a problem with it. To each his own, you grow and you do what you want to do. I, me, personally, I don't be cursing. <sighs> Unless I'm really, really pissed. And I mean really pissed. Um, other than that, I mean, I just, it's just, <clears throat> I, did, I didn't grow up in a household with curse words, so it's hard for me to use curse words now. If that makes sense. But, anywho, so some of that videos, y'all, it's like, oh, Lord, oh, Jesus I was like, nah, I ain't going to insert them. Because I still got time because the VAR hasn't posted. The girl's not going to post on Monday and the day Sunday. But I was like, nah, I ain't going to put that in there. I'm like, nah, I ain't going to put that in there. I'm going to leave it out. But they got some really good videos and clips. Those are the ones that stay in your phone for forever. Your safe man is staying phone. Those are the ones. That's it right there, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and knock this VAR. Uh, not and knock this VAR. I guess I'm going to combine it with the tomorrow's VAR. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is, you guys. Y'all have a good night. We got an awesome weekend, eventful weekend, and I'll see y'all in the next one.